We are going to discuss about how to import a data set as Pandas data frame and inspect our data set for further use. The first step is we need to import the library Pandas. As a standard practice, we import Panda as PD. Now import MPG dataset as card data free. The URL of same is given in the description box. You need to import this CSV file as pandas data frame and store or give it a name a car. This is quite straightforward. We use the function read underscore CSV and provide the URL or file path. And in case of collab, you need to first import this file if it is in your hard drive or local machine by clicking on this folder or file icon then upload the file and the pop-up will come you just upload the file then with the uploaded file click on these three dots copy the path and provide the path in place of this URL but in this Exercise the URL has been given. So whether you are using Jupyter Anaconda or Jupyter Notebook from Colab, you can directly use this URL in place of your file path. Print the car data frame just imported by you. Write the name of the data frame and we will got the display of the data frame. One thing to note that this display will show you all columns but the display of the rows is limited to first five rows and the last five rows. So in total the display will have 10 rows the top five and the bottom five. Instead of display the first five can be display the number of rows as per choice so look for how you can display the top 10 rows. With the same head function data frame dot head. So the name of data frame here is car. So car dot head within bracket we mention the number of rows we want to display. So 10. So this will display the first 10 rows starting from index 0 to 9. inspect or display the last five rows. The function used here is tail. So data frame dot tail. So name of data frame is car car dot tail because by default both the head and tail function will display the five rows. So we need not to mention five here. It is a default value. So if you want to display either less than 5 or more than 5 then only you need to mention the digit otherwise just leave it as blank. So car dot tail will display the last or the bottom 5 rows from index in this case 393 to 397. Now we have seen previously that the default view or display option is to show the 10 rows 5 top and 5 bottom but we want to display the all the rows of our data frame we have also noticed that our data frame have 398 rows starting from 0 to 397 index so how we can display the all rows you can think of either you can use dot head with mentioning 397 or tail with mentioning 397 but can we make it uh, by default view option for this sheet yes we use dot option dot display dot max underscore rows function from pandas and we will ask for to display 400 rows so this will now onward will display by default all the rows starting from one till last so all 398 rows starting from index 0 to 397 is now displayed. 
Is there any missing value in our data frame? Can we find it? We are going to use is any and some function with the chain dot. So on our data frame car, first we apply a function is any that is asking is there any this will give you as a result the boolean of true and false true is considered is or is a a one and false is zero so if we add up all true means all one will give us the number of missing value so using this logic we use in a chain is any dot sum so is any will give us the true value wherever there is a missing value by adding up the true values which are actually ones we will be able to get the count of missing value so in our data frame mpg which is stored here as a car we have in horsepower column six missing values so the number of missing values are quite small so can we drop all missing values one point to note that dealing with missing value require the understanding of your data set the domain and your use cases but here because the number of missing values are very small just six so on a safer side we would like to drop all the rows having a missing value so we use the function drop na so on our data frame car we apply drop na so this will drop by default all rows which have missing value so if you, in case you want to drop a column which has a missing value so you have to specify the axis by default here the axis is axis equal to 0 which is row axis but if you want to drop columns you have to specify axis equal to 1 but we go with the default value which is x is equal to 0 that means rows so we are dropping all rows where there is a missing value and saving this again as a car data frame now let's check does this function worked so we again apply is any dot sum on our car data frame and we find that the six missing values or six rows with missing values in horsepower column have been dropped can we see the summary statistics or description of our data frame we use the function describe this will give us the summary statistics of all the numerical columns here note that now the count are 392 not 398 because we have dropped six rows with missing values in our previous example so each one has 392 count the mean or average value standard deviation what is the minimum value in each column maximum value in each column and three quantiles like 25 percent 50 percent and 75 percent 50 percent is also called as median so you are getting here the count mean median standard deviation min value maximum value and two quantiles 25 percent and 75 percent can you show the data type in each column whether it is an object or a string integer date time or a float So instead of using or applying individual function on each column we take the help of the function dot info so car dot info will give us lot of information other than the data type so if i have to explain it will tell us what is the type of the or the class of car then the integer means row index there are 392 entries are there how many columns what is the index of each column so zero index column is mpg index one column is cylinder the label or the name of each column how many are non missing values so you see that our data frame have no missing value each column supposed to have 392 
values and each one has 392 value. The last column is for answer to our this question that what is the data type. It has float means decimal, integer and object or string. So these three type of data type available in our data frame. What is the shape of data frame? Data frame is a two dimension which has rows and column whereas data series or in pandas series is a one dimension. So the shape function will help us to know how many rows and how many columns are there because data frame is a two dimension. We use the function dot shape and we have 392 rows and nine columns. If you have any query or doubt, you can ask in comment section or you can join our live online doubt sessions where you can ask directly with our faculty your queries related to this video. Till then, just play this video, pause and practice. And for more videos solved exercise like this, subscribe and like our channel.